So today's Foundation Friday review will be on the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This foundation retails for $6 and you can find it at Target, you can find it online, like you can find it at a lot of different places. It comes in a frosted, very nice jar with a pump, which a lot of my high-end foundations, which will remain nameless, but for 39 bucks, they can't manage to give me a pump and e.l.f. for six bucks can do that. So I love the packaging of it. The one downside I do have to say with this particular um, foundation is it only comes in six shades. This is the shade Sand, which is the second to lightest. And I had planned on sunless tanning and all of that before I did this review, but I didn't get a chance to do that. So you'll see in the demo, it's way too dark for me, but I feel like the color is beautiful and I'm wearing a turtleneck so I can pull it off a little bit. This foundation claims to be um, long wearing, a semi-matte finish, lightweight, and it does have an SPF 15, which is fantastic. You do get 0.68 fluid ounces. Normally a foundation has one ounce, so it is less than a normal foundation size, but the shelf life is six months. Normally a foundation has a tw uh, shelf life of 12 months. So maybe that's why they give you a little bit less, but for six bucks and a pump and a glass bottle, you really can't complain. And um, that's the foundation I'm wearing right now. And if you guys would like to see a demo of me applying it with a beauty blender and with a brush and a wear test, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the shade Sand um, and it's the second to lightest shade that they offer. And I'm gonna start off by applying it with my Beauty Blender, which is my favorite way of application. So I'm gonna do two pumps and see how that works. So this is really quite yellow based. And definitely too dark for me right now. I see more of a radiant finish right now. It doesn't seem like a heavy foundation, which I kind of thought that it would be just by, you know, what the description said about it. So I'm going to try another pump and build it up a little bit more because right now it seems pretty light to medium coverage and I want full coverage. So this is the side with the Beauty Blender, and as you can see, it's really glossy, and I feel like it definitely evened out the color tone, but it's just way too shiny, and it kind of accents my pores and any kind of texture issues that I have. It's really um, showing that through, and which I do believe if I set it, it would calm that down, but I'm going to try it with a brush and see... Um, if maybe it's not quite as glossy because you know the beauty blender is wet when I use it. So this is two pumps. It has a really soft scent to it. Um, it kind of smells a little bit to me like a um, unscented baby lotion. It's not offensive at all, but you guys, I really did wrong with this uh, color match. This is really bad, really sad. So you definitely won't use up as much product with a brush or this particular brush versus a beauty blender. I used two pumps on this side and then I use probably four or five on this side and I feel like the coverage is really similar, um, but it is taking a really long time to set down. Like it's really glossy right now. And from the description of a semi-matte foundation, I'm just really like taken aback and surprised with how glossy it is. If it had been, um, you know, kind of like a, a dewy foundation, a radiant foundation, I kind of would have been more expecting this finish. But um, yeah, I can really see any of my pores really bad, even though the color is all evened out, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna do two more pumps with the brush, just to see like how 
you know, an equal amount of product per side. Yeah, I've watched a couple reviews on this foundation and I feel like it never looked this shiny on anybody. I don't know, am I crazy? Okay, and then that was probably way too much foundation <laughs> because now it seems just really out of control on that side. So that is good to know. Use a brush and you won't use up as much product. So I'm just gonna kinda blend some more on this other side just to kind of even it out and then just bounce this over everywhere. Um, because it is so radiant and glossy, it is showing my pores and like acne scarring and texture pretty bad, but let's go ahead and see how it looks after I've set it with a powder to kind of just tone down some of this gloss. So for my setting powder, I'm going to take the NYX Studio um, Finishing Powder. Because this is affordable foundation, I kind of wanted to stick with an affordable setting powder. And this is just translucent, you know, just your general run of the mill, not going to affect the color or, you know, just that general, everyone has it, translucent setting powder. Whew, it's kicking up a little bit of dust. All right, that is calming it down quite a bit and I'm loving Loving this foundation now, just getting rid of some of that gloss. And you know, you can't see the pores and the um, texture issues as much. I am definitely falling in love. So I'm gonna scoot in and kind of give you guys a close up of the foundation. Um, and I'm gonna kind of check it out in a mirror up close. So I feel like this is actually um, a lightweight foundation. Like I was thinking when I heard like flawless semi-matte coverage, like I was thinking more of like a really uh, heavy foundation and it's not heavy at all. Um, it's actually, I would consider this in the feel of it, very lightweight and radiant. So if you were thinking it was going to be like a real thick, like um, heavy foundation, mine, I definitely didn't have that experience trying this on for the first time. And if I hadn't set it with a translucent setting powder, I wouldn't have been able to wear this foundation. So um, yeah, but once it's on and set, it's beautiful. I love it. And I'm excited to see how it looks with the rest of my makeup on. So I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. I used MAC Sculpt, and then I used a mixture of MAC Melba and Prism on my cheeks, and then I just used the classic really soft um, highlight from MAC. This is soft and gentle, just a classic old school one. I didn't want anything too shimmery or shiny. And then on my lips, I have Burberry Nude, and then from Kat Von D, their Agatha Nude Lipstick. And you guys, everything blended like a dream on top of this foundation. There was no patching. It wasn't creasing, not settling into any fine lines or wrinkles. Like this foundation, I am almost like in shock with how much I love it. It rivals some of my high-end foundations. I'm not kidding you. I love it way more than I thought I would love it from just, you know, the research I had done, you know, in the reviews I had watched. Like I really think this foundation is gorgeous. And the next time you're at Target, I think you should totally pick it up for six bucks. Yes, for sure, try this foundation out. Like, I feel like my skin looks beautiful. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look heavy. Um, it feels skin-like. So, so far, like first impression, just applying it, just finishing my makeup, I'm in love with this foundation. So it is check-in wear time, and it's been about four hours or so. And right in here, I'm getting a little bit shiny. And then right here, um, it has worn off and patched up on me just a little bit, but I've told you before, I am a face toucher. I'm trying to break that habit, but I do 
and that's kind of why it'll break apart there but it's not settling or caking or anything like that it's wearing off pretty gracefully so like I said we're at the four hour mark and I am going to go ahead and powder because I do have somewhere to go lucent powder just the same stuff that we used earlier and I'm just going to powder along just the areas that I'm getting a little bit shiny So I will check back with you probably in another three or four hours. Um, I have to go out and do some things and yeah, so we'll get to kind of see how it does, but this is after three or four hours and I think it's it's doing, doing well. Okay guys, so this is the final wear test. It's been between 10 and 11 hours, so I definitely could say that this foundation is pretty much done. I'm very greasy. It has worn off. Um, let me kind of zoom in pretty close. It has worn off completely here. You know, I've been doing some editing. I ran out and ran some errands, had dinner, talking, um, you know, popcorn and tea, you know, watched, uh, what do we watch? Hidden Houses, which is basically like an English show that's like a documentary of the history of English homes, which I love that. But, I mean, it's very late and I'm really greasy. It's worn off here where I always touch my face. Um, it, I'd have to say, it does not wear off super gracefully, and I would not agree with the claim that it's long wearing. But I am going to powder it. So if you were out and about and you had this foundation on, you could definitely tone it down. And you can see just doing that makes it look a little bit better for sure. I don't feel like... I mean, you can still see my contour and my blush and stuff, but when I look at my skin, I can see the color issues and pigmentation problems that I have in addition to some patchiness. So I don't necessarily agree with the fact that it's a long wearing foundation. I think you could get a good, beautiful finish for at least four to six hours, but if you were needing it for 10 or I think I'm at 11 hours right now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this if you have normal to oily or combination skin. Now, if you had dry skin or normal to dry skin, I really think you need to try this foundation. And I believe all skin types can wear this foundation and it looks lovely, but you are gonna have to set it with a translucent powder and you are going to need to kind of touch up on it throughout the day if you are oily or combination. So that's just my thoughts. I think everyone should try this foundation out for the price and for the immediate finish and the finish that you get from four to six hours is gorgeous. Very stunning. Um, it's just the long wear aspect that I don't necessarily think is the best. And um, yeah, and I don't know if it would cover as much as you might need if you have really bad acne. That's just some of my thoughts. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next Foundation Friday. I also post, I'm trying to post on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Like don't hold me to that yet, but that is what I am striving to do. I'm trying to strive to upload three times a week. So please go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.